been talking about this holiday shopping. Of course, it gets into high gear this week. The traditional retail chains are under big pressure to try and bring shoppers in. Well, a new Gallup poll finds the average shopper plans to spend $770 on gifts, just a few dollars more than last year. Big box chains face a long list of challenges. Something called showrooming is near the top of that list. Rebecca Jarvis went out to see how one retailer is fighting it. Rebecca, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. And it may be the most wonderful time of the year for many, but for Best Buy, this is the most crucial time of the year. After reporting a significant drop in quarterly profits on Tuesday, Best Buy has the holidays to try to turn things around. It's challenge to every customer walking in. It must sell its thousands of stores of merchandise in store rather than online. Where does everybody like to shop at Black Friday? Black Friday! In the final countdown to the Black Friday frenzy. All right, team, so today we're going to dry uh, run what Black Friday is going to look like, okay? okay Retailers you... like Best Buy are leaving nothing to chance. When we open, we're going to have a lot of excited customers out there. At this 24-hour store in New York City, you can ring on four. Manager Amy Adonis and her employees are running dress rehearsals ahead of the big day. I'm right here to register too. Thank you. We start the process early on. We hold team meetings. We uh, role play and we do dry runs. Uh, we do them department specific so they know what to expect for that day, what that day is going to look like. And then we're what? Ensuring that no customer. No customer. Exactly. How important is Black Friday to your store? But it's a very important year. It kicks off the whole holiday season for us. Best Buy makes more than 50% of its profits during the holiday season. And competition for those dollars is heating up for everyone because of online shopping. This holiday, Americans will spend one in every six dollars on the web. And while sales overall are forecast to climb four percent, sales online are expected to soar 12 percent. You want to search for the best possible price. And if anything we've learned post-recession is that the consumer is willing to give up on experience. Stock analyst Brian Sazi says showrooming, where customers scope out products in store but ultimately buy online, is posing a big problem for big retailers. Showrooming is not just some of this uh, phenomenon that has no impact. It is real, it is happening, and it's crushing these brick and mortar retailers. Best Buy's digital marketing head acknowledged the showrooming issue at an analyst conference in New York last week. You have to embrace the trend of showrooming. As retailers, as merchants, we have to take advantage of the opportunity that customers have coming into our store. To do just that, Best Buy is offering for the first time to match the prices of online competitors. What's the advantage to shopping in store? I think you get your product right there when you want it. That's the biggest advantage to it. But retailers should also be careful of the enemy within. I always think about it this way. Every cell phone that's sold, for every tablet that's sold, for every iPod, every iPad mini that goes out of the store this year, that's a vote against brick and mortar retailing. Each year we watch the progression of e-commerce and ask this question, what's the future of big box retailers? And the future that we're seeing right now is that there will be fewer storefronts in five years is Best Buy, is Walmart, is Target going to need all of the storefronts that are sitting out there right now? The answer for most analysts is that no, they will not. There still very likely will be stores, brick and mortar stores for people to walk into. But as people shift their spending online, and this year about 20% of what people spend the holidays is going to the online stores, it's very likely going to mean fewer seasonal jobs. There's about 600,000 of them this year and also just fewer storefronts. Thank you, Rebecca.